Hi, I'm John Patrick Green, and I'm going to read some of my book, Investigators. Chapter 1. In a world plagued by crime, corruption, and confusion, one organization works in the shadows to right these wrongs, sending its top agents to solve any mysterious mystery. These are our stories. Investigators are on the case. Mango, get off of my case. Oh, sorry, Brash. Our new vests are in this suitcase, along with our next undercover assignment. Is it cowboys? I hope it's cowboys. A mustache. It is cowboys. Hey, partner, I must ask you a question. How do I look? Cowboys in the city? That's absurd. What, you never heard of an urban cowboy? Yee-haw! Honk, honk, honk. Look, we're not going undercover as cowboys. We're bakers? Then this mustache must mean only one thing. Pizza! Cupcakes! What? Mango, how do you get pizza from a mustache? Oh, I don't know, like every pizza box ever? Well, then I guess you're not familiar with world-famous cupcake chef Gustavo Mustachio. Cupcakes, from facial hair to chocolate eclair, Gustavo Mustachio. Fine. You know what will settle this? This file that has our assignment in it? Uh, I was going to say thumb war, but okay, read the file, I guess. Let's see. Secret file. Beep. Ooh, holographical. Vroom. Investigators, your assignment is to go undercover at Batter Down, the bakery owned by this man, world-famous cupcake chef Gustavo Mustachio. Aha! I was right. You might also recognize him from, like, every pizza box ever. Aha! I was also right. Quiet, you two. Chef Gustavo has gone missing. Mustachio hasn't been seen in two weeks. We suspect foul play. Better Down was about to unveil his latest culinary masterpiece. Someone must be after his secret recipes. Or maybe some nefarious villain needs an expert baker and or mustache model. Twirl. Hey, anything's possible. Your mission, Mango and Brash, is to find out what happened to Chef Gustavo and make sure his secret recipes are safe. Don't worry, we're on the case. This file will self-destruct eventually. Verp. I'm not getting on the case again. You yelled at me last time. Two weeks earlier. Ow, my head. What happened? Where am I? One minute I'm waxing my handlebar mustache. The next I'm behind bars. Hello? Anyone there? Splish. Chef Gustavo. Who, who, who are you? What are you? Wakey, wakey. Time to bakey. Ha 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 ha. Chapter 2. Are we supposed to pretend to be Gustavo with this mustache? No one who really knows him will fall for it. But I've learned Suit likes its agents to be prepared for anything. Maybe wearing it will trick the culprit into revealing themselves. Do you want to wear it? It could be your brash stash. That's okay, Mango. I think the look has grown on you. Grown on me? Does this mean I have to learn how to shave? Since we don't know what Suit wants us to do with the mustache, maybe it's best if you just take it. Is this it? Why is the mascot a duck? That's not a duck, it's a goose. Gustavo. Gustavo. I don't get it. Gustavo. Chef Gustavo. What? Where? You've come back to us. Hug. Oh, uh, it's a me, Gustavo. I'd recognize that bushy mustache anywhere. The tail is new, though. Um, I, I had some work done? That explains it. Silly me. Whew. You, on the other hand, are obviously an alligator in a chef outfit. I'm from accounting. Yeah. Huh. I thought everyone in accounting was a shark. Hi, Oscar. Morning, Angela. Oh well, what do I know? I'm Junior Assistant Baker Marie. I'm Brash. 
Ooh, is that the secret recipe for your latest culinary masterpiece, Gustavo? Oh, right, secret recipe, of course. Let's get it inside before those recipe thieves from C Cupcakes R Us come to steal it. Right through here to the batter down kitchen. And now, if you'll get out the recipe, I can assemble the ingredients with the chef's permission. You heard Junior Assistant Baker Marie hand over the recipe. Fine, Chef Gustavo will get the recipe himself. Self-destruct in three, two, one, boomf. Oh no, our safety measures in case the secret recipe ever fell into the wrong hands must have backfired. Who could have possibly predicted this one wonders? Well, it's a good thing you have a backup. I do. In your brain, silly. Don't you remember the recipe? Noogie noogie. Yes, how right you are, Junior Assistant Baker Marie. Now leave Chef Gustavo alone so the maestro can find his muse. I'll stay here for, um, legal purposes. What are you doing? If I'm going to remember this recipe, I'm going to need my assistant. Mango, we're here to find out what happened to the real Gustavo, remember? You're not Gustavo. Oh, right. Tag, you're Gustavo. Slap. Hee <laughs> brash stash. This is serious, Mango. Now let's look for clues. I do look pretty cool, though. I heard that. Sometime earlier, in a cool, dark place, I have another batch ready. Hmm. No. Weak. This is no good. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. You're no baker. You're a fool. It's, it's not me. It's these ingredients. This flour is no good. And this butter is salted. I need unsalted. Unsalted. Say that word again and it's you who will be assaulted. I want that super dough. Please, I can fix. I just need better supplies. Fine. I'll get you what you need. But don't fail me again, mustachio. Chapter 3. Find anything yet, Mango? Nope. Nothing suspicious so far on the security cam footage. You know, I bet Junior Assistant Baker Marie is in on it. It's always an inside job. Uh, maybe. You'd better go interrogator. Right. Interrogator mode on. Voop, voop, voop. That's not a thing. You're just making noises. Hey, you do things your way, I'll do things my way. Oi, that mango can be so frustrating. But I guess he's an okay partner. I just don't want anyone to get hurt again. Is he ready to hear what happened the last time I went undercover at a bakery? Or more important, am I ready to tell him what happened to my last partner? Shiver. I still get chills whenever I think about the incident. Oh, wait. I'm in a walk-in refrigerator. Oh, wait again. What is this? Or should I say, what isn't this? Meanwhile, across town, something totally unrelated is going down at the science factory. Inside, where all the science is made, the head scientist is about to reveal their latest scientific breakthrough to the world. Okay, okay, settle down. Spotlight, please. Fellow scientists, I've gathered you here to witness the unveiling of our latest scientific breakthrough, the thingamabob. Is it Bob's idea? Bob's idea? No, of course not. It's just called the thingamabob. The breakthrough is, it's broken. Broken? What? The breakthrough is broken. Who broke the breakthrough? I bet it was Bob. Rile up, rile up. Stop it. Stop riling up. You're scientists. Behave like it. So, the breakthrough is only slightly broken. We'll have it fixed in a jiffy. A jiffy is not a precise unit of measurement. Boo! Neither is slightly. Boo! But we've already got a dozen reporters here for this. Nope. It's just me, CC Boring Stories, Action News Now. What? Only one reporter showed up for this? And my cameraman, if he counts. I think we all know that he does not count. Hey, I know how to count just as high as any of you eggheads. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. You apologize to Dr. Doodledoo right now. 
Uh, sorry, Dr. Doodle Doo, for calling you an egghead. It's all right, bruh. And now then, while the breakthrough gets unbroken, what say we move the festivities outside? It's a nice day out, and we're all a bit antsy from being cooped up. Uh, I mean, stuck inside. Aw, oh, man, we gotta be outside. Ack! There's a giant ball of fire in the sky. Who has sunscreen? I only have SPF 3000. What's the sitch? We got a code sunburn. Repeat, code sunburn. Code sunburn? Ah! Ooh, code sunburn. What's that? That's when all the scientists come outside, and they never come outside. The sun, it burns. You there, stop running around like a headless chicken. You know that's insensitive to Dr. Dool Doo. Sorry. Wow, this breakthrough is even more newsworthy than I thought. We should call in the chopper. You heard it here first, viewers. A code sunburn has emptied the science factory, and a valuable thingamabob sits unguarded inside, just waiting to be revealed. Hmm. <laughs> Chapter 4. Stay tuned for more on Action News Now. Boring. I want to ask you some questions, Marie, if that even is your real name. It's Junior Assistant Baker Marie. And your name was Brash? Mango Mustache. Oh, the Mango Mustache. That's one of our top-selling fruit-filled croissants. Don't you wish you could come up with such amazing recipes, Mr. Brash? Nom, nom, nom. Brath is his first name. Wait, last name? Your name is Brash Brash? I'm Mango. No, wait, he's Mango. No, he's Gustavo because he has the mustache. I'm Brash. Uh, now then, when I Brash, no, Gustavo Brastachio, no, Gustavo Mustachio, when missing for two weeks, did you, Marie, think to alert anyone? Alert? Oh, the red alert. That's our red velvet cupcake topped with a jalapeno pepper. It's like a five alarm fire in your mouth. Have a bite. Uh, no thanks, I'm full. Aw, just one bite? That's okay. One little bite? Uh, ding ding. A customer, saved by the bell. Splat. Welcome to Batter Down? What does that even mean? I have a special order for birthday cake. Oh, a special order. Chef Gustavo will handle this personally. Gustavo, that's me. I mean, that's the other guy. Uh, wow, this cake you want is huge. You could fit a dinosaur in this thing. Yes, and make it snappy. We're alligators. Snappy is what we do best. Mm, I mean, I'll get this to Chef Gustavo right away. Brash, Junior Assistant Baker Marie is on to us. What? How? Did she reveal anything about Gustavo's disappearance? Well, no. She's either a criminal mastermind or completely clueless. But whichever she is, we've got to bake this special order or our cover is blown. Hmm, that might be tough. This cake requires a big oven, and I just discovered a big clue. The big oven is missing. Oh no, right? Clearly its disappearance must have something to do with Gustavo's disappearance. No, I mean, how are we gonna bake this cake now? Oh, well, luckily we can bake it in this even bigger oven. Doesn't that just mean that's the big oven and the one that's missing is the medium oven? Hey, which one of us is Chef Gustavo? Yoink! I am! Bah! We don't have time for an identity crisis. Let's just bake this cake and then get back to our investigation. Activate von montage mode. Whoop whoop! That's not a thing. Investigators baking a cake. Is it even a thing that they know how to make? They used eggs and flour and unsalted butter. And it took them an hour to spell scientist. No, it didn't, and that doesn't even rhyme. Hey, that wasn't too hard. Seems like you've done some baking before, Brash. <gasps> what? No, I've never baked anything. <clears throat> now, get back out there, Gustavo, and keep an eye open for anything suspicious. I will. Good thing there's nothing suspicious about baking a giant cake for a large, mysterious figure wearing a raincoat on a sunny day. Here you go, sir. 
One giant birthday cake made fresh by me, Chef Gustavo Mustachio. Thank you, ka -ching. And here's your receipt. Doot, doot, doot. Ding, ding. Hey, do you sell mitts here? Oven mitts? Sigh. This is batter down. You want batter up, the sporting goods store down the street. Thanks. Blink. I get it. Batter down. Batter like cake batter and down like goose down. Ah. Gustavo, now it all makes sense. Sense? Oh, sense. The scented strudel. It smells like strawberry, but it tastes like... Uh, Gustavo's gonna go back in the kitchen and remember his secret recipe. Zip. Tap, tap, tap. Chapter 5. CC Boring Stories here, reporting outside the science factory. With me is scientist Bob. Tell us, Bob, what's this scientific breakthrough you're cooking up inside? Ha <laughs> ha! I won't tell you what I'm cooking, Susan, but I will tell you it'll blow this breakthrough. Bleep blurp. Excuse me. You done yet? Need more time. They're on to me. Sorry, Sophie. Scientist Bob's got a motor. Well, that wasn't informative at all. So let's check in with the action news now. Helicopter in the sky. Way up high. Yes, CC, I am indeed in the sky. And let me tell you, nothing is more exciting than watching a crowd gather for a press conference. It looks so busy down there. I'd be surprised if nothing snuck past security. And well, CC, that certainly would be newsworthy. Hold up, hold up. We're in the middle of a code sunburn. No one gets through. What's this? A uh, special delivery. Birthday cake for the, uh, scientist. Birthday cake? Okay, who's this thing for? For the thingamabob? I mean, uh, it's for, uh, Bob? Bob, Bob, Bob. Ah, here he is. Scientist Bob, the new guy. You say it's his birthday? Uh, I guess I gotta go get him a card now. Anyway, what you'll need to do is... Huh? Where'd that delivery guy go? Well, better not leave this cake out in the hot sun. Doot, 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 doot. Any of you scientists, Bob? Ugh, no, I'm not Bob. Bob's the worst. I bet Bob's not even a real scientist. Gee, sounds like this Bob is a popular fella. Never seen this place so empty. Hey, are you... Can't you see I'm on the phone? Sheesh, everyone... <laughs> Sheesh, enjoy the party or whatever. Mumble, mumble, mumble. Bump. Huh? What's this? Birthday cake for Bob. It's Bob's birthday. Figures he wouldn't tell anyone. He's always bringing in baked goods that he never shares. Look at the size of that thing. I bet he's trying to steal the spotlight from today's scientific breakthrough. So what you want me to do with it? Eh, leave it here. I'll deal with it later. And there. All working again. Soon the world will know the true nature of this. Our thingamabob. Wait. I'm not calling it that anymore. I don't want to give Bob the satisfaction. How about Thingama Steve? Ooh, that works. Steve's an okay guy. Now, run along outside and tell everyone recess is over. Aye, aye. Mmm, splurp? Mmm. Man, if I'm out in the sun much longer, I'm gonna cook. Tell me about it, bruh. Good news, everyone. The breakthrough is fixed through. Now, please file back inside the auditorium in an orderly fashion. Remember your travel, buddy. Two by two, hands of blue. Two by two, hands of blue. I don't know how often these scientists come outside, but at least they're getting some vitamin D. Oh, it looks like they're heading back inside. Over to you, Cece. That's right, we can finally learn what all the fuss is over this scientific breakthrough. Waboom! Okay, I'm going to stop there. And uh, it seems like an exciting point to... Uh, uh, leave you off with and I hope you enjoyed this uh, reading of investigators and if you want to know how it ends uh, pick it up uh, at a store or library uh, or order it online <laughs>
Thank you.